Welcome back to the Scottabye channel and this is Scott. So I use Ubiquiti Unify networking equipment in my uh, home lab environment and I also use it for some of the people that I consult with. And so I support a number of different Unify networks. And in fact, I use um, Ubiquiti's access points, Ubiquiti's switches, I use Unify Protect for their cameras, and I also use Unify Talk for my home phone. So keeping that in mind, I was looking at this new product called the Ubiquiti UNAS Pro, and I just wanted to put down a few of my thoughts and not really a product review per se. So Ubiquiti has expanded their product line once again with this device called the UNAS Pro. And kind of looking at it from the front, it really appears to me to be more like their UNVR Pro because it has basically the same form factor. So the UNAS Pro has seven 2.5, 3.5 inch combo slots for either hard drives or SSDs. And the UNAS Pro supports RAID, although in the setup I've noticed, and I don't actually own one of these devices, but I've watched quite a few of the reviews and read a lot of information about them online. When doing the setup, it does not appear that the RAID is very configurable. Uh, that is, it's not obvious. They tried to make it turnkey for the novice user. So you're not presented with options like RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, RAID 6, or RAID 10 as options. So the CPU is a quad-core ARM Cortex-A57 and it's operating at 1.7 gigahertz and it has 8 gigabytes of memory which I do not believe is expandable. And it has one 10 gig SFP plus port and also one gigabit RJ45. And it has the familiar 1.3 inch LCD touchscreen on the left for management. Uh, I have these touchscreens on my switches and on my UDM Pro and they're handy to review things, but I certainly wouldn't try to do any configuration on them because, uh, well, I've got big fingers and uh, it's nice to th see things at a glance. But honestly, I would either get into the web interface or the mobile interface to manage any Ubiquiti equipment. So what about the NAS functionality of this device? Well, the quad-core ARM Cortex A57 operating at 1.7 gigahertz is actually the same processor that's found in the UDM Pro. So they do a lot of reuse when they create new products and that just makes sense in terms of uh, development. So the RAID configuration is supported, but as I mentioned earlier, we really don't know what RAID levels they're setting up. Uh, they kind of just refer to it as a uh, uh, protection level, if you will. And then I see this device as replacing Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive for small or perhaps medium-sized companies that are tired of using public cloud services and really want a local cloud functionality for storing files. And that being said, when you connect this device to your network, uh, you adopt it like you would adopt any other uh, Ubiquiti device, and then you create users on it, and then you grant those users access to various shares that you would create. So the only network protocol supported for right now on the UNAS Pro is SIFS or SMB, which of course is Microsoft's file sharing protocol and there's no mention of and certainly no presence right now for Linux network file services, Apple file services, or iSCSI storage options. And you know that might not be a problem because they're not really looking at trying to provide that type of capability 
at least initially. So the processor and the memory configuration are really not designed to be an application server. That is, they're not designed to run things like Linux containers or Docker containers, some you know, like an Open Media Vault, an Unraid, a TrueNAS, FreeNAS, um, Synology, QNAP, or other types of NAS solutions, which in the industry have kind of become ubiquitous for providing all of these types of functions. This device seems to be targeted specifically for Microsoft file sharing as of this video. And then the real question is, will UNAS Pro expand and improve their services? And personally, I really believe that they, they need to have support for NFS and iSCSI at a, at a, well, at basically at a minimum, because my thought is that if you're looking at a device like this and you're going to put it on your network and it has a 10 gig interface, you want to provide um, high powered storage. And that's basically what we're looking at here. So then I had some summary points here. And like I said, this is going to be a fairly short video in that Ubiquiti's product line seems to be expanding constantly. I mean, we're seeing them come out with all these new and different devices. For the, those of you that are unaware, um, Ubiquiti even has a um, uh, electronic vehicle charging system that they sell. So they've really gone... Uh, really broadly and I think that this is kind of a test um, since they have their um, Unify NVR uh, for their Unify Protect camera system I think they're trying to branch out here and I think that file storage in the form of a NAS was probably one of the next things that they were more than likely to go to and so the $499 price tag for a 7-bay NAS with 10 gig connectivity, I mean, I don't think you can beat that in the industry. Now, mind you, that's bare. You still need to buy your drives. But nonetheless, if you price um, QNAP and Synology NASs, you're not going to find a 7-bay NAS for $499. So this device won't need to be an application server, and my thoughts are that it shouldn't be an application server, not just because of the fact that its processor and memory configuration are not sufficient, but also because it would really be nice to have somebody narrow the focus and simply provide uh, full-featured file storage functionality in a simple appliance. And I think that's what they were going for. So the UNAS Pro supports their USP RPS, which is their redundant power supply uh, rack mount device. But I would have preferred to have seen them put dual PSUs in here, especially for a smaller network, which might not want to invest in the RPS device. And that would give you a, a backup power alternative uh, in the event that you had a power supply failure. And one would think that um, your NAS would be one of those things that you'd want to have as higher availability. And so that kind of leads me to another thing. And that is that um, this device really needs a built-in option for R-Sync or something like the QNAP real-time remote replication, what they call RTRR. Now, the reason being is that if you have data out here on a NAS, we need to have some highly available way to either shadow that real-time or to replicate that or to back that up um, without having another server. There should be some built-in functionality to do that. My thoughts are, you know, Maybe you could have two of these and then they could do real-time shadowing of each other would be one option. Uh, another option would simply be that it could do backup and backup failover maybe. So, or maybe even load balancing. And so I'm not seeing any of those things yet, but as with other Ubiquiti products, kind of stay tuned because it 
is probably true that they are likely to go to something like that in the future. Anyway, that's it for today. Please subscribe and like to the channel and don't forget to hit your notification bell and we'll see you next time.